Okay, my friends, you can see the time and date, by the way. Uh, see the car right there, you can see it, it's right there, you see it. That's all you need to see, that's all you need to know. Uh, that vehicle belongs to the Kierovnik, if you want, boss here from this library. Uh, this vehicle was purchased by her as a... Uh, as a new vehicle by someone whose name I'm not going to mention because I have learned that there are politicians as well as people that play double game uh, I don't like hypocrisy I hate hypocrisy in this library here it's I'm gonna say two decent people people too good too good to be true really seriously really really good people but you're gonna have an apple that is gonna do some stuff that it's not a nice stuff at all and that apple just happens to sit inside of that office and just happens to sit inside of that office for certain reason due to certain reasons I didn't like the two features today that happened, one repeated situation from Grotniki library, that's basically that they know exactly what you're going to do, that you have to purify files, you have a bunch of files, audio files which you have to clean, meaning remove a double files, duplicates away so then you can go over and scan whatever you can use whatever actually is useful for you don't like the feature that the file that you use you transfer everything in one basket on the desktop is actually locked a few minutes before you're about to go just so you cannot even delete one from the desktop on what library is should be closed but it's not really closed because librarian is busy taking your file basically gathering all audio files that happen in Grotniki and today the situation repeated again right at this place I'm not gonna say that library would close but I was quite some time on the computer lady pops up this is the lady that is a permanent visitor to this very library already here I'm gonna say since 2006 she's a permanent permanent was involved in MK Ultra permanent and I don't like specially because you're actually even told what's gonna happen and that really doesn't do you a favor now these people don't give me any files these people don't give me any audio, they don't give me any videos. They're taking my effing files and learn whatever recordings I have. Things get a little bit worse. If things could possibly get worse, I don't know how much you have seen situation about Grotniki Library. It's situation that I don't even want to go, I don't even want to walk inside of the library anymore. What I have recorded was recorded on March 8th, that's for the ladies day. Yeah, and it was done like this stuff, they do it really to make you like numb, like totally dumb, like non-sensitive to surroundings, something I especially dislike when it comes to women, because I don't appreciate in this world anything more than females. There is nothing more precious and nothing more beautiful in this world than females. And when feminists do the stuff like this for Kaczynski, that really doesn't do me any good. That really doesn't do me or decent people any good. Of course, it's not a feminist. This library here that you see, I'm going to take you right now, was not even a library until I was told today, like three years ago, now, 
I could go off and start to argue with these people and say, yes, it was library, I was about to do it. The thing, however, is, they're right, I would be wrong. Do you know what they have done in this place here? Except for the flooring, except for the same office as where it is today, except for exactly as it was, at least, I'm going to say, 2006, 2007, 2008. Absolutely. In this school of music, this, this was a school of music, exactly on the same spot where it was, whatever it was in 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, it's exactly where these people would have, I'm not going to say they worked in that place, but temporary they did. In other words, whenever I would be brought from United States of America, it's these people right here. It's these people right here, right now, that are inside of the library that would assist uh, American staff members, other staff members. Now, you're going to say you must be crazy, hey, man. No, I'm not. This is extremely sophisticated stuff. And this is what Mr. Kaczynski believed is going to bring him in a situation in which he would be like decide about my destiny, about the whole case. Mr. Kaczynski is a lawyer. And he dreamed about the words like Vontek, Cartania, and stuff like this. Set up. Basically plot set up and this and that he likes to play a double game triple game quadruple game and gives the one that gives him more in this game he believes he's gonna gain something through the prominent politicians and business people by protecting their interests against me basically what he's doing is he's using my case to blackmail like people like Really important people, as you know from my new site, who are involved in this case. And when it comes to libraries, I'm not going to even say, I'm not going to go into any details about it. Because I'm not going to allow double game. I'm going to play my game now. Welcome to my game, Kaczynski. Meaning that what these people have anticipated I would come forward with claims which would involve certain people with certain issues related to the libraries, it's not going to even come out. What we're going to do is we're going to do it like this thing, this situation here never existed for other than what I'm about to state. Facts. The car that you have seen, again, this was purchased, a new car I remember. Uh, I remember her son, I remember, I think it was a divorce, and I even know some personal details that are so personal that is going to rock you, knock you out of the hotel. If you are inside, I'm not going to go and reveal these details. It's the weapon I use in case we have to really go in front of the big screen and in, in case we have to go what they dreamed about would be the case like they're gonna make circus and stuff like this and that's when you're gonna face me that's when I'm gonna come up with the stuff like this and I'm gonna bug you and then what's gonna happen is like the car right there you can transfer the ownership you can transfer the title you can change the history of that you just have to go to the office and you can do it but it's going to be hard to do in respect to other details in front of the people, in front of the public. That's going to be a very hard thing to do. You can deny, but how are you going to deny certain things I know I have not revealed that I know and I do know? You see, that's how we're going to play from now on. We're going to, first thing, what we're going to do is we're going to stop that double game. Hypocrisy. This library really was, clo really was open, like three years ago. The thing is that just a few meters down here, this ladies here, which have also confirmed me, have worked. Um, it's now, um, if, I go, if I have to go down the street here, 
And the thing about it is, what I especially didn't like is because I was going to say where the old library was and audio record that, use that as a proof. And they just cut me off and tell me quickly, as I said, down the street right here, it was right away, they give you the location, which like totally sucks then, then you cannot use it. The worst case today was that lady gave me the proximity location of individual who was here. Uh, I gave quite really deep details about this guy and I did not even know this is a husband from the director who also was involved in MK Ultra. On what the lady in the office here for the reasons I have stated deleted my file from the mp3 player which I have plugged inside of the computer and that kind of a sucks when it proves you want to play them live and something like this happen uh, and this is related to the library in Grotniki and so on then things started to suck uh, I can find my way around I can I can do a lot of things but you know that I can do to the certain degree after that certain degree I don't have a space you take away space and then I don't have no way I can work, I can do my stuff. Then it's difficult. Then that's basically when I give you a red cartoon like judges do on a, on a soccer game. And that's pretty much the end of it. That's when it's coming. That's when it's collapsing everything on you. For me, for me personally, I got more than enough proofs. Nobody can say anything about this case. Uh, too many proofs. But for someone, if someone wants a little bit more about this, now that's a different story. I don't know how the hell could people want more than a person that would dedicate himself to them, would ask for something that would cost him nothing more than a trouble, and would do such a thing solely to help them out. I have no effing idea because as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as my needs, it's, it's going to be just okay. It's going to be all right. Now, as far as the needs of the people that would have more than money, someone that would actually watch over on how the money is spent, where the money is invested, and who is moving around that money, that's a totally different story, because that's actually, in my eyes, worth it more than the money. But in a politician's eyes, it's not, because they see different values. They see the values of their own profits and money, not in people. Okay, enough about that. What I want to say is that situation started to suck. Uh, this is why I pulled this emergency plug, because this is going to nowhere. Uh, it's a double game. They play this game, and I am pretty much left now without any choice. Kaczynski have screwed himself up you know how he screwed himself up by simply involving his strongest weapon in a game and that, those were basically libraries it was the same situation with one close to Denbach uh, near Warsaw and it's the same situation basically an immigration center where I was and it's exactly the same situation with the one right here near Wuch near Zgirsch it's exactly the same situation the latest that were employed in 2006-2005 in these libraries I can point out with exactly zero mistake I know too many details about them, some are like unbelievably... Let me see something. It's actually right here, it's what it was, the library, before. Now, when I said that he screwed himself up, he did, because guess what? The electronic equipment was destroyed to me. Every way to communication so that I could use communication, computers, was 
taken away from me. As a journalist, this is a very impossible situation, and you just have to go inside of the libraries, don't you? Inside of the public libraries, that's where he got control. He had like a total control over the situation. And in the end, what he did is the last library, what he did is he attempted to do something else. He attempted to actually mislead on issues such as as per when exactly this library was open. I suggested it was open in 2005. Already, at least 2006, we were here. We were here. This ladies were here. And I was going to start to kind of argue because I remember details, I remember everything. And the thing about it is that bookshelves you can easily move. The rest pretty much is exactly the same as it was. And the lady that I have spoken to is like a stronger lady that works here. You know what she told me? But it might actually not even be in 2006 because they brought me back again. And they told me today, uh, this library was closed. They told me today. It's true. I reminded myself of her. She said to me, this didn't exist, uh, this never existed, we were not here, and this and that, and I was like, under MK Ultra, when I was with the staff member, I was really, really confused, what exactly are you talking about? Now, there is a little bit more about this whole thing here. The lady, the Kieronik, the boss, <laughs> she played a very, very smart game, not only with me, but also with this lady this year. She, she make her own she make her own she she plays her own interests in the game and and this 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 interests of her would kind of uh bypass other ladies and and people's interests not saying this because of what she did because she actually helped me out by in saturday confirming that celebration which they have here i have a bunch of proofs i'm gonna submit about mk ultra and you gotta understand today already is monday and things are just not coming along the way they should in fact this is really really disturbing for me because of issues i already have stress i shouldn't be doing this stuff anymore i should be doing other stuff uh i should be really having the work permit, doing completely other stuff, have a job, worry about other stuff, have my own computer, have my own place, go to the store, buy myself a normal food and stuff like this. And I am just, not only I'm not doing that stuff, but if you have seen library in Grotniki situation, this is totally effed up. I mean, this is like to the point, the degree that You are screwed so much that you you just how can I say that now you have no idea you have no idea with what kind of people too I mean people that people that that have loads of alcohol bottles left around the home like like mountains of it don't even clean that shit out of the home and so on and it seems to me like just they found some kind of solution in, in a stuff like this that I don't know believe somehow I'm gonna become part of it or something like this this is just completely insane seriously it's it's screwed up because me personally I, I got it I, I have my needs I, I need woman I shit like this that I do that I sacrifice myself for I just want to get over it and move on with my life, do my stuff, get out, go and exercise and not turn myself yet again into something that some of these people actually have become. Their lifestyle, basically. This is not my lifestyle, I don't want to be part of that stuff. And when the stuff like this gets to you to the point that, that how can i say this this is this is this is so screwed up that it's difficult to even describe seriously folks
you have no idea you you don't know you don't you still don't know not even 10 percent about the stuff i have not spoken about this is bad but the whole story is actually freaking worse than this this video is not even good enough eh? Hey, look, I'm not part about, uh, and I'm not really proud about part number one. I don't like doing this here, like like this in front of the people and stuff like that. Uh, the situation, however, is impossible. I would like to say close to impossible, but I have to say to United Nations, whom I'm asking to immediately step in into this situation, is completely, totally impossible. About two months ago, I have at least somehow go and exercise. I at least, it's two months and a half ago, I at least could go and do my routine somehow till I, uh, it got to the point that it accumulated the night deprivation, the sleep deprivation to the point when you no longer could possibly go and exercise uh, without taking like hazard to your health I mean you can't go and lift weights and do the stuff without sleep because if you do so you're gonna really harm yourself uh, it's a dangerous stuff to do and I stopped but my stopping that uh, things have changed I started to gain weight that's why I said I don't want to become like these people I don't want to get into this kind of uh, track uh, and that's why that's why when I consider this stuff because of whom this stuff is going on like what I'm gonna have to go now and clean about five gigabytes five gigabytes of audio files on the tablet on the Android because somebody's just having a really good time out there and it just gotta be that way that you can't even use public library folks for other than getting tortured over there for other than librarian actually let's record herself yelling screaming and lets that thing go off goes outside of the library get get that thing going and so on and stuff like this so you wouldn't do your stuff and so on Unless you want to go and take chance that your files are going to be deleted when you plug in inside a hard drive or a USB key and so on. Why is this got to go on like this? I mean, um, yeah, I did avoid Grotniki today. I avoided the whole week. I didn't want to go. On Thursday, she closed two hours earlier. On Friday, what happened on Friday? I, I, I was here and on Saturday too. I was here too. I did some stuff. I tried to do some stuff. I tried to avoid, but it looks like today when I take the situation under the loop, this thing can no longer be avoided. And so I am asking the United Nations to step into this. Yes, it is impossible. It is a health hazard, in fact. It can't go on like this. It can't go. Stuff like this can't go on for one individual, for somebody over there in the White House, for somebody there in the Moscow, so they can have their rotten plan going, for somebody there in the Warsaw, like Kaczynski, so he can play his double game of Bluda, corruption, so he can try to squeeze money from the wealthy people for whatever. You want to call this economy? Go ahead, make my day. This is not economy. This is something else. This is called corruption. It's the worst one possibly can be. That's why I'm asking the United Nations to step in. It's your job, it's your duty to step in. It's your job, it's your duty according to application I have launched here in Poland alone that was not considered because Poland have even gone as far as using the law that entitles one through the European Union to block me from the right to file for political protection in Poland. After one half, after one half violated international laws, treaties, never mind the domestic laws and treaties. 
in respect to the human rights. In other words, have engaged in torture against me. So that's why I'm asking right, the nations to step in to stop this shit. It can't go like this anymore. It can't be used stuff like this anymore to go on. This is two hours away from location where this immigration center is based and it's just not all right. This is not okay. In the videos coming, what can I tell you? The roommate from Chechnya, whose wife is not with him already for at least, I'm gonna say, six months, at least six months, seven months, or other than six months. No, six months. Six months. She no longer is in a Kazakhstan, what he claimed first, she already is in Chechnya. He said, according to his own words, that this danger is in Chechnya. <laughs> Yesterday, he proved me different with his statements. You're gonna get some proofs out there about... Not only about... A lot of stuff that is going to confirm that I recognized other people from the past who somehow gave me somewhat green light. Due to so many proofs I have, it becomes totally factual, like, let's say, a Polish guy over there, old man from Belarus, who also came to Poland in, I think, at least 2005. And he told me that he was, and he was in this center. We met in 2005 and 2006. We actually met, I think, in 2006, not 2005. But in 2006, they had him, for sure. And you have a bunch of other issues that go as far as people having friends who's... I'm not going to say friends who's friends, but people from this center ha had friends who were in the school with Maria Putin and so on. So we are, we are getting really, really close to those issues I have talked about on the news site. Even in respect to her age, I recognized residents and car owners here in, in Sgers and so on just about 10 minute walk from this immigration center there is a limousine American limousine that was used first by Americans then I understand I, if I properly remember it was Miller Zeman who used one and it was the owner uh, it might actually I have no idea was this guy maybe a driver or not I have not met him but yesterday as a matter of fact, on Saturday, I have seen, I have seen on Saturday, see, I'm not going to burn this today, on Saturday, this movie, I mean, on Saturday, I have seen individual, uh, sorry, not individual, the car, the vehicle, I hear some screaming over there. About... 10 minutes away from the center is parked, it's still there, it sits there, and I'm pretty damn sure it was Miller Zeman who used that limousine. Okay, I'm gonna give this. And I got a bunch of other stuff too coming. Bunch of other stuff I have coming. They are not as solid proofs, in my opinion, as my recognizing people were there inside and psychologists and everything and people inside of the forest and so on. But they are proofs that get some kind of a game that is not... Really, this, is, this really is not in my interest to even go on. This kind of stuff should not even go on. This is just... This is like actually totally unacceptable stuff. Um, it's completely unacceptable because of the stuff I have stated. Because 
it, it, it's, it is actually really counterproductive. It really is a counterproductive, I have to say. I really don't feel like doing this from this stage and on and so on. I really don't feel uh, where exactly am I going to benefit from this. The one who wants to benefit, if wants to benefit, should be one doing the stuff that is not doing. That is doing exactly the opposite. That is creating really the worst possible situation for me alone. Now, really not doing any good, not to me, not to yourself with this kind of conduct. I gotta say that. It's not okay what goes on. I am not stressed, I am not angry, I just gotta find the way around, which is gonna take a lot of time, it's gonna take the whole thing in direction, which unfortunately I'm not gonna follow the MK Ultra scenario most likely, I'm gonna even try to go and find myself employment, how about this? and get out of all this thing if you don't want to do it folks i'm gonna do it when i have the time but for me right now the priority really is money if you have something else in mind you want to do it for yourself go ahead and do whatever you're supposed to do other than that i'm asking united nations to step in and take steps that you're supposed to step as a human rights organization. Me, myself, go about money, go about job, whatever I can do for myself. And on my free time, when the time is going to allow me to do so, I'm going to go and dedicate myself to this kind of stuff. I am not playing this game anymore. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to make anybody happy about this anymore. We go right back inside of that building. We'll continue to distribute to you with the news. At the same time, I'm going to be looking for the job. I'm going to be doing the stuff that normal people do to collect the money, to collect the paychecks. And whenever the time is going to permit, beside the political news here and then, I'll go ahead and I'll publish the news I have spoken about, MK Ultra proofs. Probably I have no idea how many do I have. A lot, five gigabytes at least, is what needs to be cleaned up. That's going to take time if I'm not allowed to use even the library as well as my try to go buy myself a decent computer. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. This was recorded the day after, uh, which, by the way, night I got about three hours of sleep yesterday. When I headed back at 7 o'clock in the evening, at night, it was raining, snowing, and guess what? I was starved. I was so starved. Uh, and as you know, it's two hours, one way, walk. And I stopped by as soon as I was out of the city. I went ahead and I treated myself with whatever I had left with two cans. As I did this, I pulled out this little tablet, placed one in the grass, uh, and the tablet, the tablet just happened to be in like a twee, like keyboard a twee, black. Uh, as I finished eating, I reached out for the flashlight. Flashlight, however, didn't work because the batteries were depleted. And so I grabbed whatever I had, but you know, because of my glasses too, which give, are giving me a trouble with the vision, should have been replaced. Uh, at night, pitch dark, I have left this tablet in the grass. Uh, I had it for the light in vicinity half batteries replaced in a flashlight and then I proceeded back to this location here uh, just to realize sometimes at about 11 o'clock the tablet was actually left uh, all the way back to Zgirsh and so you know I headed back to Zgirsh at 11 o'clock at night 
and back here again so I didn't get much sleep about three hours of sleep this is how it ended yesterday now today I was really challenged with quite an interesting uh, issue from my roommate uh, and for me it's clear for me is crystal clear the whole picture uh, you see this town here this place here village this one time this is what I was told by the people from here alone before it all started sometimes in 2003 2002 this was like you know like a typical place like a country place where everybody knows everybody and neighbors stick with one another they are friends it's like a family the whole thing and it went on like this until it, this politician started here okay then what happened was all kinds of issues some people got loans they got business opportunities they advanced within the society others got less than nothing and those who got wanted to get more they became more greedy this is what corruption does and so some of these neighbors became like death enemy literally uh, issue I was challenged with today and this is how how that's related to what I have just stated involved police um, my roommate I would say uh, that he would be a negative he's not I think he's actually very positive I think he's realistic and I think he is quite curious and quite intelligent uh, challenging with his views uh, which for the most part I completely agree with but with the certain things I have a different position uh, in respect to the police I have to say that I'm very pleased with the police work in Poland uh, I did challenge Russian and American both presidents and other people that would like to overthrow the order the world order and create something completely identical to what we have faced in World War II um, due to my personal situation which involves Melania Trump I'm not gonna go into uh, you know repeat details whose father is actually assassin would by assassin with a file proven uh, from Yugoslavia from the same city practically about 20 kilometers away where I'm from uh, her age is same age as I am and yes she came to pick me up per this UDBA per this KGB criminals literally to Miami in 96 uh, with marriage proposal literally uh, so you know these are very very not only political but very very personal issues and when you find yourself on a blacklist in a job market blacklisted folks for no more than for, for no less than 22 years 23 years because life in US did not offer me accordingly to my education uh, level edges as educated for or even if you like willingness to perform work in the US it discriminated against me um, indefinitely it was no there was no there was no limits to to abuse of the work I have endured it was used as a torture method so the MK Ultra could go on so they could have their things going when MK Ultra ended then other things had to go on for them as well and so on and so forth okay and so when you are that much big when your case is so damn big that involves the politicians the world top world politicians business people countries top countries um, then you know and you're alive and so on after going through all this and and literally exposing more about this corruption see this is what this is all about corruption I'm gonna title this video corruption 
I know I'm not, I'm just gonna add this to the library video, but maybe I should place this as a separate video. Be because it touches library issues again, this is continuation the day after. It's amazing that you are still alive, actually. Yeah, and I would like to congratulate Polish police on that job. i pretty damn certain that they have done quite extensive work to keep me alive under these circumstances. Uh, it's not a joke to protect an individual like this. However, I have to say that today I have received a letter from the police from Zgirsch. This is a local police department. What's interesting about this case is that they would not disclose me any details about what exactly they're investigating. But apparently that I have uh, that I have committed some sort of przestępstwo. Now you want to call this crime? <laughs> I don't know how they see that as. Um, for me personally, you know, I don't actually have. I'm gonna say anything in respect to. Uh, you know, this kind of issues that you know, I would take personally since it was a Poland that really violated all the international human rights treaties and so on, um, have engaged in physical torture and stuff like that, that I would have any regrets about the stuff I have done. There is only more that I have to do, that's all I can say. But yeah, it says here that I got the number from gentleman here, telephone number. And there's some kind of a crime I have committed according to Article 190A PAR1K.K. What exactly that would be, it's really impossible to determine. It is coming from the Zgersh Police Department. That's basically all there is. One page like this. And it doesn't give any details about it. Um, as far as the police, I gotta say, I am pleased with it. There's nothing bad I can say about the police. Um, I don't even know what this is all about, what, how this is gonna, the whole thing is gonna develop. I gotta say, I got the letter today too from Warsaw. This is basically the day after. Um, <laughs> okay, the letter suggests that I got about 14 days, no more time to answer back to the court in Warsaw, which repeatedly again for the third time have decided that, well actually this one is from immigration, but this is a repeated decision from court even, I don't have the right to apply here for political asylum because I'm from a safe place known as Slovenia. So I give about 14 days time to answer this, actually 13 days because the letter arrived yesterday, supposedly I wasn't there. Yeah, and I got one in hands today, so it doesn't matter, it starts from yesterday. That's how that works. In respect to corruption, the only thing I'm going to say is that police with me is okay. Uh, my roommate touched the issue of bureau workers, actually that one first. That's really good. Uh, in respect to the bureau workers, I just want to say thank you big time. I don't have, no, I don't actually have a single, single complaint. Not even the one little tiny, as bitty as complaint that I would say. Okay, nothing, zero. Uh, police, bureau workers, state workers, very good. I would rate. I wouldn't say because there's so many different issues to rate. But as far as the Bureau, I give 10 out of 10. I did not experience any kind of uh, anything that would implicate some kind of issues that, that I could blame it on them. No, they absolutely did whatever they possibly could, uh, even I'm going to say in my best interest. They tried to help as much as they possibly could. As far as the librarian people, this one here in Grotniki, I'm really not pleased with. And guess what I'm not pleased with? You know, we go back to corruption. 
I'm gonna dedicate special video to that issue but it works like this basically you're told basically what they're gonna do to you and you are told this stuff so you can be challenged with totally other issues lies in my opinion they're lies because when somebody attempts to do something bad to you and he tells you in advance he's gonna do to you this is just done so it would be for his personal insurance basically so he could even gesture that he told you in advance that he's gonna do that to you so that well you would not take all the necessary steps uh, to protect law itself because once you start to see the vision distorted like that you find yourself in a world of unlimited corruption and as such you're only useful to parasites not to society I believe you become completely useless um, now I can actually even condition this issue because of the politicians involved in this case like I said once this place used to be a beautiful place where neighbors would get along just really fine with one another but once this corruption started um, some even became like death enemies and so I can completely understand the police officer who gets the order from Andrzej Duda from Moraviecki whose both order to them comes from Kaczynski because Kaczynski runs this politic entirely in Poland I can completely understand that police officers just gonna have to do as a public servant as a public worker whatever pretty much his pyramid uh, command uh, gesture demands from him to do he does not have anything possibly he can uh, possibly he can object with to whatever he's taught by the higher ranking officer because it's about, about the same thing like in you know, the military uh, here when he comes you don't question much you just have to do it and if you don't poor you you're done from MK Ultra, I can tell you that police officers in which board guards the police itself I revolted a lot against Warsaw. I remember this very clearly because they told me these issues. They demanded more from them and they declined. It was more anticipated, more bad stuff. Well, bad stuff. I mean, like I said, with me in my book, they're good. For them, personally, for the police officers from Watch. For the border guards, for the people, for the police, this whole thing was unacceptable. And they told me this thing. It's unacceptable. And, you know, they did it at least in a such a way that somehow I would some way have at least some kind of chance. No, this is true and when I combine these chances how they have done it I can tell you they were very nice with me they were not insulted with me uh, it did involve certain issues which however relate to other issues to other people and so on uh, and there are issues that actually do not violate I'm gonna say law when you do it from that perspective all through uh, it does benefit other situation and other end I'm referring to the knife, let's say. Something like this, okay. But with a stuff like this, you can still get away as a police officer in my book. Maybe in someone else's book, not in my book, you can. Because of the stuff I have mentioned. Librarian ladies, librarian ladies in Nadarjan, in, in, in uh, Dembak area, near Warsaw, in my book, exceptionally beautiful good ladies good-hearted ladies the only thing they got the only thing they wanted to do to me was basically help me out assist me and with the computers and absolutely with everything the same situation repeated 
also over there in Zgirsh right here. And the ladies helped truly as much as they possibly could. Again, what exactly are you going to do when the top politicians are involved? And in this case, even the top business people like Elon Musk are involved. That's a tough one. There are two bad apples when it comes to librarian systems so far I have seen. And that, for me, basically defines the whole thing. One bad apple that I understand is even related to a person of my interest, to that psychologist. At least this is what one suggested. Not directly, but somehow through another individual. Uh, would be this librarian right here. This was not only, you see, this is where the difference is. I can understand that you have to do some stuff because of the politicians that have their expectations from you. Uh, but she went like extra mile and became extremely personal, uh, going as far as involving even her children, <laughs> who, by the way, I love, and by the way, they love me. And when I think about that, she told me actually under MK Ultra that I'm going to be told that I am shit by her children and stuff like this, and that actually happened. Stuff like this, she did. And there's not even like a little, 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 tiniest little bit hatred in these children against me. These children love me, adore me, and I love them. Uh, that, then I have to say that there is a lot of shit in her head. Like, a little bit more, I would say, than what was expected from her. So, that kind of person, then I have to say, you see, these little things like that, not only the stuff that she did, you know, that, that kind of stuff... That kind of stuff that she did, I could actually see in a positive way, because, you know, that you, that you record yourself screaming, yelling, and if you already are not screaming and yelling inside of the library, you let the recording go on and you step out. This is one thing. I can live with that. I can put up with that. Even it's kind of a difficult to be interrupted, but actually it makes sense, because you go to another location and you get to face other issues from which also you benefit from. This is a good stuff. But when you start doing stuff like that, then you start to do some kind of other stuff. Then you have, uh, you know, some kind of a different motives behind. And in those basically involve the stuff that uh, not even was, I would say, expected of her. So I think that she was very personal and she took like way further than you know was even expected of her so that's one bad apple right there and then another one involves like I said individual over there in Skirsh I don't know how bad she is definitely not as bad as this but she had a personal conflict with person I'm interested in because of her physical traits she feels that she's a little bit more because of her physical traits and stuff like that and would just not really like this you know go along if you like my personal choice uh, and uh, have taken like the side that Poland have ha have suffered tremendously due during the World War two you know I'm talking about really racist, neo-Nazi stuff like that. Totally inappropriate. And it didn't end over there. Then came up with another idea that the politicians and business people involved are so big that it probably as well as mine would be better off to just disregard all the ladies inside of the library who were interested in somehow, you know, giving me a signal here and there uh, and rather to work with them all the way, uh, turn the other way around and try to split, basically break that kind of issue uh, for the sake of these politicians, for the sake of these business people. So that means that she would get something on the side, but the ladies would be basically sidelined. 
That's why that's those, those this makes two apples and I'm not even sure so much about this one. It really depends a lot on her, but this one here, this is like really bad, I think. Uh, but all in all, I'm a happy person. I'm satisfied with everything. Uh, it's really good. This was a really good last video. It was a really good stuff. The MK Ultra approves. I have spoken about. I guess a little by little I'm going to do them, but I'm just going to have to wait because first, number one, is my not a fine bar show about, you know, with the proper response to this harassment, I would say that, you know, this allows me even to apply for political protection in Poland. Uh, and number two, uh, concern with my own financial situation. It's basically time to get job, to get money, to get car, to go buy myself a chocolate milk yogurt. Stuff that you guys take for granted in your life. Woman more than anything. This is this is what I miss more than anything in this world. I don't give a shit about alcohol, cigarettes, and stuff like that. So those are my priorities right now. And as far as the MK Ultra proves, this already is beyond proven. I'm gonna continue to submit them here and then, but this should not be uh, something that United Nations should rely on. I am asking United Nations to immediately step in and act accordingly this is totally unacceptable situation and entirely depends on United Nations the governments the state governments nor local governments have the right to decide about international treaties laws and so on the purpose of United Nations was to prevent neo-nazism the repetition of the World War II and that's exactly what uh, I have done very successfully the rest is up to the UN. Thanks for watching this video. All right, till next time. Uh, this is also the news that was released uh, today, the second day, because the filthy play of this terrorist here that you see here and his brother, uh, it doesn't end. It doesn't stop. I said a terrorist because of evident reasons, not only because of the plane that was crashed in 2010 on which supposedly his brother was, it's a lie. There was a hundred people who went ahead to pay respect over there. Uh, have you, by the way, realized how quickly people came when I started to record this? This is recorded in Grotniki. So you can hear somebody else, vagrant, let's say, rather than myself. But the news is released carefully, well-timed, well-designed, along with the news like this, along with the news like that. What makes somehow appealing the situation to the West, basically it steers reality into a totally different reaction. And in all this news that you have, in all this garbage that you that they sip this lies you see this stuff here this is the news for today look at that in all this stuff what you're gonna get basically you're gonna get a trap because this is how Kaczurinski works and here is the trap look they're looking for investor for the cars and you might have heard the name I have mentioned, Elon Musk, who directly was related to the situation incident with the ladies from, especially to the lady that is now in the office inside of this girl's city's library. He was intimate with her. Another individual who was intimate with her was Borut Pahor, now Slovenian president. And so, you see this? It's an electric car. They're looking for investor. And it says here again, they're looking for investor. So what they do is, they, uh, they'll tell you how profitable Poland is, how beautiful everything is, how fantastic it is, how they did not even lose one dime due corruption. That's the news that's released for today, folks. Look at this. 
This is how the terrorist Kaczurinsky works. And it's time for the world to understand and learn what, what exactly the word terrorist represents. You see? This is blackmailing basically people, business people, stuff like this that were involved in these negotiations. Either you're going to bring the money, you're going to invest into Poland and stuff like that. Or we can do a different way and we can give the guy actually the opportunity to talk to discuss the issues in which you are involved. Folks, whether you're a businessman, president, politician, whatever you are, well, let me put it this way. The situation in a country is as it was in 2010 when you had a plane with a hundred people on board crashed. Situation was not investigated for entire year, eight years. The situation was deliberately not investigated. The brother from Kaczynski was not even on a plane. That's a terrorist that was used to basically suppress the crime to uh, convince people that they're not the only one that have they have lost and stuff like that. Uh, and at the same time, he suggested these relatives, they're going to get compensated and stuff like that. He finds the way, way around lives with lies. And that's pretty much the job of the attorney, which profession he is, uh, beside being a Hollywood actor. But yeah, this is just, timing is just perfect. I'm going to say to Mr. Kaczurinski, Mr. Duda, Andrei Duda, that's his lapdog, Mr. Borowiecki, I'm just going to tell you guys, thank you very much. You see, you got yourself really trapped now. Uh, but this is the stuff I have seen throughout my stay here in Poland. That's why they have given me a list, leads basically, so they could go and they could blackmail Western politicians to get the money. See, here is what it is. And I knew this is going to happen yesterday, I said, I'm not going to even mention names. It's a filthy, disgusting hypocrisy, double-faced politics is what it is, based on lies and terrorism.